Vincent, I'm trying to film something. You're ruining my jacket. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a thrift flip and specifically a non-sewing thrift flip with this denim jacket, which I'm super pumped about. I've been wanting to do this specific thrift flip for probably a couple of years now. I'm a calligrapher, so I've always wanted to do calligraphy on a denim jacket, on the back specifically, and Today is finally the day. I am so excited. I have the design already pre-made on my iPad Pro in Procreate. I am just going to be eyeballing it, um, kind of trying to transfer it onto the jacket and obviously paint it. So I don't have any stencil. This is all going to be kind of a freehand, but I hope that this thrift flip gives you some inspiration to doing some sort of design on the back of your denim jackets while we are all at home. That's the gist of it. So I'm really excited. So let's get into the thrift flip. So I already created my design on Procreate on my iPad. It is right here, the design I already did. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the kind of shadow or that I'm going to not do the shadow. I'm not sure. I will see when I get to that point. But this is kind of the design I want. I wanted to say, have a nice day in the back. I thought that was really cute and can be super positive when I actually go out and see people, which is very rare right now. But I thought that was really cute. So I'm going to do that on the back of the jacket. I'm not going to transfer it on. I'm just going to kind of look at the iPad and kind of sketch it first before I get into the painting so that's what I'm going to do first I'm going to roughly sketch it onto the jacket and <laughs> let's let's hope this goes well so to sketch out this design I'm going to be using this marker here um it's just a white kind of opaque marker I do not have any like chalk which probably would be the better bet to actually sketch it out was like the white chalk but i don't have this so i'll use this i tested it on the scrap piece of denim and you can see it's just like very very light the actual marker so it's okay if like i don't paint over it all then i also tested the paint on here because you definitely want to test out your paints before you you dive in on here so that's what i did first was i tested on here and now i'm just gonna <laughs> try to sketch this as best i can so I'm nervous, so let's begin. Okay, so I just finished the sketch. This is what it looks like. It looks pretty good so far. Um, I, it is very rough in some parts, which I am not too worried about. I will be able to go over with paint, so I think you won't even notice at the end. But so far, I'm really, really excited. So I'm really excited to start painting. So let's, let's, let's start painting this thing. I'm a little bit nervous about starting. I feel like the first stroke and just starting is like the hardest part when it comes to like painting. Ooh, I started. This is actually going to take a really, really long time now that I'm just starting. So hmm. yeah, this one, this is going to take a while. I'm, I'm realizing as I'm painting this now, um, you, you need a lot of layers to get a really, really opaque color on the denim jacket. And I found like the best technique for painting this is kind of going over a rough kind of edge and just painting it roughly. And then going in and kind of dabbing the paint in to kind of get that straight, straight edge on the side. So that's what I kind of noticed by the time I got to like 
the second line so I'll go and touch the first one up which is fine because it's just a little rough on the edges but now that I know that you can just like dab your paint into the denim so it really sinks into the fabric now I know that I can get a really 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 nice clean edge on this because before it was not looking too hot so I'm really pumped though it's looking really good this denim jacket so far so I'm really really excited to see the finished product of this jacket and finally wear it I really enjoy just like painting lines and just not thinking about it and not too putting too much like you know thought of like perspective and like where everything needs to go like if you're actually painting a picture you know it's like it's a lot of mental like focus that you got to do when you're painting especially like you're trying to go for like a realism one but this i gotta say there's like n no thinking involved you're just literally just stroking the brush so i really really dig this Okay, so I just finished painting the jacket and I am really, really happy with it so far. But I want to show you before I explain what I'm going to be doing next. So this is what the jacket looks like so far. I am really happy with it. I was able to kind of touch up the edges that were a bit rough from the paint and I was able to scrape it off with an X-Acto and also kind of just go over it, you know, second and third coat to kind of make it a lot more clean looking. So I'm very happy with how it looks right now. But now that I look at it, I feel like we can, you know, step it up a bit, you know? I'm thinking we can do some embroidery drop shadowing on it, which I mean that I will embroider kind of a fake drop shadow on it to, you know, give it a little bit more depth, you know, more texture, you know, more complexity to the design on the back and, you know, not just have painting, but, you know, have some embroidery, have some painting, have a whole bunch of different elements going on. So that being said, I have this bag of embroidery string I have. They're mostly browns, which obviously like my favorite colors. So I'm thinking about using like kind of like a color like this and doing this for the drop shadow. I think that will pair really well with this kind of off-white kind of yellow color. I think that'll look really good. Nice color. It also matches like the stitching on like already the jacket here that is pretty close. So I think that will match even better. So I'm gonna start with that, see how that goes. And then we'll see how the drop shadow looks on here and maybe we'll step it up again. Who knows? Like we'll just keep going and going. No, no, we're not gonna keep But yeah, I'm gonna start with the embroidery for the drop shadow, see how it is there and see if I wanna do anything after. I like to go step by step and just kind of decide things as I go not have like a huge plan of what I'm gonna be doing at the beginning just because I feel like things always change when I'm doing design or anything creative it's always different than what I imagined so I'm just gonna do the drop shadow see what it looks and then take it from there so I just realized I was talking for a while explaining me embroider this jacket and it wasn't recording so I'm gonna redo and repeat what I was saying Again, even though I kind of already started, so. What I said to the camera while it wasn't recording was, I am using this embroidery string for the drop shadow here. And it's like in my jacket right now, the embroidery string, because I was midway through until I realized that, oh, it's not recording. Anyways, I took this embroidery string and I cut it probably a foot and a half long. And then once I cut it, I took the end. And if you can see, in this embroidery string, there actually is little strings in there. So what I did was I took half of them, so there's six strings, so I took three and three, I split it apart, and then I pulled them like this until obviously the whole string was into two strings. And then I had two strings, and then I took that one part of the string, so one of the two strings now, and I thread it through this needle over here and just thread it halfway so it's kind of like doubled, so it looks like the actual embroidery string, same width now because you doubled it over. And then I tied a knot at the end and that is how I made my embroidery string. This is taking a lot longer than I expected. I hands down really respect embroidery artists or the art of embroidery because dang, it's hard and it takes a long time. I've been doing it for a while now and I have completed the have of have a nice day, which is probably about a quarter done. So it's okay, but I obviously like to be done the whole thing, but 
It's okay, I'm gonna finish it today. I'm gonna put on a movie, go chill on the couch, and just, you know, embroider my, my heart out. Or embroider until my hands cramp, something. But that's okay, I'm actually quite enjoying it, all jokes aside. It's actually really relaxing and just a little like, soothing, just like the painting. It's honestly really fun just to do something. Just mindless, like this whole project was really just mindless. It's just time consuming, which that's okay. I'm really, I'm actually really enjoying it. So I'm gonna go chill on the couch and finish this. Aside from doing the embroidery, people are always asking what Benson's doing and they wanna see him more in my videos. And this is what he's been doing lately. He's just been sun tanning in our living room. So that is why he's not with me. He's, you know, just living his best life in the sun. So it is day two and through flipping this denim jacket and yes, I'm wearing my painting suit again because I will be painting again so I had to wear the painting suit so I'm wearing that again and if you're thinking um, it's not actually a painting suit, it's actually just a jumpsuit but it kind of looks like a painter's outfit so that's why I call it painting suit but anyways, I don't have a painting suit and one but it's not, it's not okay. Anyways, beyond the point, I was up very very late embroidering last night. I was probably embroidering till 10 or 11 last night and yep yeah, Surprisingly my hands didn't cramp at all and I'm feeling pretty good I'm feeling pretty good and I'm gonna keep embroidering today on this denim jacket. I'm pretty much Done. I have like just a letter left to do for the have a nice day on this jacket but I saved that because I wanted to show you how I embroidered the letters with the drop shadow because at the beginning I was not doing a very efficient method and I wanted to really practice and get the hang of it because it was my first time embroidering something like this before I went and taught you something so I had hours and hours of practice and now I feel like I have a good system of somewhat good system a system that I like and I'm really happy with so I'm gonna show you how I embroider the letters and then we're gonna move on to some other fun spicy embroidery stuff on this jacket because now that I'm looking at this I'm like I'm, I'm not done I'm, I'm taking it all the way I am really really you know making this jacket super super spicy I don't know if that's a good work but I'm, I'm gonna make it super rad and that's my goal I want to make a really super rad jacket so I just wanted to give you a little update on what the jacket looks like so this is what I have so far and I'm really pumped with this I originally was gonna do one color but as you already can tell I've been changing my mind a lot through this video and I decided that I wanted to do kind of like almost like a gradient or kind of kind of like a gradient of drop shadow so it was a bit lighter here and then it goes darker down so it's a few different colors there so that being said I am pretty much done except the very bottom here the Y but this is what I'm gonna embroider and show you how I did this because my technique has definitely changed from the top to the bottom but I'm gonna go over that with this technique so you won't notice anyways but I am so impressed with this jacket so far and it's only gonna get better so um, um, I'm saying it's, it's a good day it's a good day so far okay so now we are up close and personal with this denim jacket and I'm gonna show you how I did all this embroidery for all these letters here I have my embroidery string all ready to go I showed you before how I strung that so it just has a knot at the end it's Pretty straightforward, but just I have this brown color. But anyways, we're, let's, you know, stop blabbing, let's begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the back of the jacket. Because there's a knot at the end, I wanna start at the back, the, not the front, because then you're gonna have this knot sticking out at the front. You can see the, back's, the back is not as pretty as the front, so that is where I'm starting. So I'm kinda just feeling around the jacket and, you know, testing, poking the needle up into the position I want. I'm gonna start here at the bottom of this Y. And I am just going to try to poke it up near the edge of the Y here. And that's a little close, so I'm going to retry that. There we go. And once I got it in a nice position, I pull it all the way through. And then I'm just going to go up and I'm going to follow this line right here all the way to the top. I'm probably going to take like a quarter inch space with this thread until I poke the needle back through. And then this is kind of tricky because you kind of have to go back and forth your hands especially with a big denim jacket it's very bulky but you know that's why it took me so long to do this because it's not it's, it's not the easiest thing to embroider but okay so now that I have this stitch the first line I'm gonna kind of poke the needle back very close to this because I want to just come back up 
where I went through and that will save you the most amount of string so you don't waste a whole bunch of string on the back. That is like a really nice tip so you can make the most of the string you have and you don't have to keep re-threading your, your needle, which is kind of annoying. So I re-thread it, it's kind of inside. As you can see, I poked it up kind of almost in the middle, but kind of close to the front of this hole. But I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna do another like quarter inch right beside the bottom of the Y there. And pull it down. So now you have two stitching there. And then I'm gonna keep repeating this. Okay, so now I have one line done of the embroidery string, and now I wanna make it a bit thicker, like kind of like these. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go back down right beside it to make it a bit wider. So I'm just gonna poke the needle up again, close to the last hole that I just made. And yeah, you can see this, this takes a while, but I'm also kind of a perfectionist. So it's also kind of partly my fault. So it might not take you as long. I'm gonna not restring it. I'm just gonna kind of start over here. I kind of decide cause I don't want it too long of a string. You can see right here on the back, this is where I ended and then I continued over here. So I have a whole bunch of these strings here, but you don't want them too long because then they could snag. So you want to make it as small and tight as possible. So that's what I'm going to kind of do because I want to continue on. So I ended right here at the bottom. So I probably want to go to the bottom here and start here. And then we'll go up and then down and then we can keep going through there. I just finished all the embroidery here. I am really, really liking it. I also touched up with a little bit of paint, so it is a little wet, so I gotta be careful. But now looking at it, I feel like I can spice it up a little bit more, you know? There's like some spots right here. Like I feel like this spot right beside the nice, I almost forgot what it said, the nice. I feel like that's kind of empty and I don't know, maybe the top here, but I feel like there's some spots where I can really fill in and kind of complete it. Cause I feel like there's still, something missing here. I still think it, it, it needs to be a little bit more spicy. So I'm gonna, you know, add some pepper flakes and spice it up a bit more. I'm gonna put some rainbows on there because it says have a nice day. And I feel like rainbows are very fun and nice and just will complete it. I wanna use the same color palette of like the browns. So I'm gonna sketch out some rainbows and I think there's rainbows and see how that looks. It might have went a little crazy on this now that I'm looking at it. Okay. I'm gonna start with this one and just embroider this and then maybe embroider this one and then see how the rest looks because that might be too much now or it might not be, who knows? So I just gotta dive in and see what it looks like before I can really, you know, decide.
So I just finished the rainbow, the first of many rainbows. I've decided I'm going to do a whole bunch, but this is what it looks like so far. I'll just show you the whole jacket. You're not going to be able to see my face, so there it is. Can you see it? Hopefully, yeah. But that's what it looks like right now. I'm really happy with the rainbow. I'm going to do a whole bunch of different sizes of the rainbows, little ones, big ones, and just kind of fill this whole area of this denim jacket kind of in the back middle part where it's kind of in already kind of stitched on there so I want to try to make it really full in this area there's a lot of white space left over but I think I could fill it pretty well with a few more rainbows and I think that will give it you know nice contrast against this denim jacket so I'm really really pumped to finally finish this because it's been like two days that I'm embroidering and my butt kind of hurts from sitting on the stool and my fingers are starting to hurt after like two days. I'm excited to finally finish and actually wear this jacket because I, I, yeah, I, I just, I just don't want to embroider anymore. So I'll show you the final piece. I'm just going to put on a movie and finish it or a few movies, depending on how long this takes, but I'm excited to see it and I'm excited to show you it. So let's cue the next side so you can see what the jacket actually looks like. for today's thrift flip. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at Jenna Phipps so you don't miss out on any of my new thrifting adventures when we're able to thrift again whenever that is. That's it. So I want to say thank you again for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.